Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Today, we'll be talking about another AI front-end generator called Draw a UI. Draw a UI is an AI front-end generator that allows you to make sketches and then convert them into real front-end code, which is pretty cool. Although they say that you can only generate front-end code from mock-up designs, I'll also show you how you can generate front-end code from text using this tool. It uses the GPT-40 API to generate front-ends from images, which is pretty cool. Although, its code is pretty easy to navigate, and with just a little configuration, you should be able to start using it with something like Olama. It can generate HTML and Tailwind code. It works by taking the current canvas SVG, converting it to a PNG, and sending that PNG to GPT-40 with instructions to return a single HTML file with Tailwind. It's pretty easy to get started with it. It also uses TLDraw, which makes creating wireframes pretty easy. You can also put in your own images, Figma design screenshots, and other hand-drawn UIs and ask it to generate code from them if needed. It also works pretty fast with the GPT-40 API. However, you can't ask it for iterations to the generated UIs, which isn't great. Anyway, now let's go ahead and get this installed. To get it installed, first, come to their GitHub page. Now, get this repo cloned on your computer. Once done, CD into the folder. Now, Come back to the GitHub page and scroll down. Now, over here, we'll need to run these commands one by one. In the first command over here, you'll need to replace the placeholder string with your API key. Once you replace it, execute the command. Now, run this second command, which will install the dependencies. Then, run this command. This will start the application. Now, Open port 3000 on your browser, and you'll see the application. Over here, we have multiple options. So, let me tell you about all the options. Over here at the top, you have the file option where you can print this image. Then, at the edit option, you have the undo, redo, cut, copy, and paste options. You can also export the mock-up image from here as well. Then. In the View option, you can zoom in and zoom out. Then, you can embed stuff through this option, and through this option, you can add your own images. Now, over here, you can create multiple pages. You can think of it like threads. You also have other drawing options over here. Now, over in the bottom, we have the main sauce. The first one is the cursor option which is the default option. Then, there's the grab option. Then, you have the pencil option, where you can draw something with a pencil if you want. Next, you have the eraser button to erase things if needed. Then, you have the arrow option over here. Next, there's the text option. So, you can add text through this option. Then, you have the text box option. So, you can add a text box through here. Then, you have the picture option. You can add your own pictures through here. Next, you have the shapes option. So, you can add shapes over here as well. Then, at last, you have the make it real button. So, once you have created the mock-up over here, you can click on the make it real option and get your code generated. Anyway, now let's create a mock-up over here. I'll be creating a Twitter-like thread. So, first, let's select the shape option and create a box over here. Now let's add another shape over here for a profile picture. Now let's add a text over here. Let's add another one for the username as well. Now let's add some content over here. Okay, now let's add some engagement buttons as well. Okay, so it's done. Now let's click on this Generate button. Okay. So it's generating now. Let's wait. Finally, we have it over here. Looks pretty cool. You can also look at the code over here. It's HTML code.
just as I said previously. Pretty cool. The generated code looks pretty good as well, isn't it? I mean, it looks pretty better than what OpenUI generates. Anyway, now this is cool and all. But what if you want to generate front-end code from just text without making all those prototypes? Then, let me tell you how you can do that. Well, just go back to the main page, create a new page, or just remove everything from the page. Now, over here, take the text box option and just write this prompt. If an AI is looking at this image, generate a landing page, or just write whatever you want to generate instead of the generate a landing page. But I'll be generating a landing page. Now, click on the make it real option, wait a little, and finally, you have the generated code here. Pretty cool, isn't it? This one also looks much cooler than what OpenUI can generate. Plus, you have great control over the generated layout because you can prototype it yourself. The UI is also pretty easy to use. Let me also show you how you can use screenshots or other images to generate code as well. To do it, come to the main page. Now, add your image over here by clicking on the image option. Once added, it will show up like this. Now, click on the generate option and wait for some minutes. Now, we have it here. This one really works amazingly well. OpenUI wasn't able to generate it this accurately. Pretty cool. Let me also show you its code, where you should be able to connect it to Olima or some other API if you want. And you'll also be able to change the system prompt to generate code in other languages, like React or some other. The code is pretty easy to navigate as well because it's built upon Next.js. Okay, now let's open up the code folder. The main part is the API part. You can see it over here in the app, API, and the two HTML folder. This is the main file where the API is communicated. You can change your base URL as well as the model if you need to. You should be able to connect it to Olama because it supports OpenAI endpoints. You can also change the system prompt over here if you want to generate the code in some other language like React, Svelte, or some other. You can also change its front end if you want to do that. The code is pretty clean and easy to navigate through. So, that's how you can generate front end code with this tool. It's pretty easy and cool. I like this tool better than OpenUI and Screenshot to Code because it has much more customization. Although, I would have really liked if it allowed customizations to the generated code. But for now, it doesn't do that. I really like this one. Go ahead and give it a try, and let me know your results in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.